There are two types of particles in the universe. On the one hand, you have the massless ones like photons that whiz around without weighing anything. And then there are particles with mass, the best known ones being the protons, neutrons and electrons that make up the atoms of our bodies. But why do these particles have mass? Why do we weigh anything? I mean, why can't we just zoom through space like the photons in a beam of light? Back in 1964, the British physicist Peter Higgs along with five other scientists predicted the existence of the Higgs field, a field of energy that permeates the entire universe. British people usually describe this field as being like treacle. The problem is very few people outside of Britain have any idea what treacle is. It's a thick syrup made from sugarcane, which the Americans called molasses. In India, it's not usually sold on its own, but it's used to make jaggery. The idea is that it's thick and hard to move through. Similarly, when particles try to move through the Higgs field, it slows them down by giving them mass. Okay, but giving them mass is not quite right. There is a law called the law of conservation of mass that says matter cannot be created or destroyed. So the Higgs field can't just create mass out of nothing. Instead, Higgs theorized that his field of cosmic treacle would transfer mass to the particles in the form of energy and the particle that would transfer this energy would be called the Higgs boson. What's a boson? Well, that's a long story. We'll say this much, it's a class of particles named after an Indian physicist, Satyendra Nath Bose. And it includes photons and gluons, but not quarks. For a long time, nobody could confirm that the Higgs boson or the Higgs field existed. Higgs bosons were predicted to be very short-lived. They only exist for less than one sextillionth of a second before they decay. And to actually make one in a lab that you could detect, would take massive amounts of energy. To produce a Higgs boson, scientists built a large hadron collider and this particle accelerator is a gigantic circular tunnel underneath the border between France and Switzerland. It was built between 1998 and 2008 by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. With a circumference of 27 kilometers, it's sometimes said to be the largest machine in the entire world. By speeding particles up in this tunnel and then smashing them together, researchers hoped to find a Higgs boson and study its behavior. In the year 2012, almost 60 years after it was predicted, scientists at CERN finally detected one of these elusive particles. Higgs theory was confirmed and we finally had an explanation for why things have mass. Think about that. They used science, mathematics and logic to predict the existence of something that it took over five decades to verify with experimental evidence. What an achievement. Calls for a spoonful of sugar syrup. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.